better for Muslim, we begin with Ummu Kitab Al-Fatihah. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good uh, afternoon. Okay. Waalaikumsalam. Okay. So the last class we learned about Renault Transport Theorem from the conversions of the system in which the point one at the inlet coincide with the control volume. After at the, at the delta T, the control system, all right, the control volume fix while the system move. And then we derive this concept, all right, the Renault transport theorem, all right, from the equation one into equation two. After that, we subtract, divide with delta T, and finally, we do simplification and uh, the definition of derivative. Then we achieve the Renault transport theorem, RTT. So B can be any kinds of matter, all right, like air, water, any kinds, all right, any kinds of property. Okay, from this, this the red color here represent the Renault transport theorem in integral form. Can you see we have the integral form? Okay, so the above description use one inlet and one outlet. Basically, the RTT can be applied many condition like multiple inlet and multiple outlet. Okay, so how does it apply to the system? Okay, for example, okay, for example, like this one, okay, we have the, let me make it big, all right, consider we have the uh, arbitrary shapes of control volume. All right, whatever shape. So this is control volume. All right, so we have the mass entering the control volume. Remember that the control volume is the fixed region. It won't move at all. All right, so here we have the inlet. And definitely we have outlet. Okay, we have the mass, we call as the mass, yeah mass inlet and maybe we can have multiple outlet this is mass okay mass outlet or mass leaving maybe in this direction as well okay and then from here you look at here Okay, all right. From here, we need to introduce to you the terms of unit vector. All right, you need to you need to know what is the unit vector. The unit vector is the vector pointing out from the control volume. This is in terms of n, and it is always perpendicular to the surface. Okay, for this maybe like this perpendicular this is unit vector as well as maybe this okay this is unit vector remember always perpendicular to the surface and then we have the cross-sectional area all right for example the cross-sectional area here we call as a da all right the control volume surrounded what by control surface so the surface we can put this way, DA, right? So here N is actually represent the unit 
vector that point out from control volume all right you need to remember that and then the flow rate the flow rate of property B, all right, maybe any kind of property. Remember yesterday, I told you about the property, any kind of property we name as B. Okay, true. DA, all right, surrounding the control volume is given by this equation, right? Rho, a B, B, dot n cross this is dot product yeah da this is for control surface all right normally this is applied for b out minus b in this is any flow rate any kinds of property with respect to outlet minus inlet Okay, so this very important. Vn refer to the give normal components of velocity. Okay, that means the velocity should be normal or perpendicular to the control volume. Alright, so from here we know that all right this is the property okay let me explain a little bit rho b v dot sorry n d a all right velocity the density is the mass multiply uh, the mass over volume so mass over volume okay sorry the mass over volume okay volume l the power of 3 and then multiply with b multiply with the velocity which is displacement l over time and multiply with the n, this is unit vector, nothing. Multiply with the area, which is L, multiply with L. So can you see L, 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 cancel with L, the cube. So we have mass divide with, okay, we have the mass divide with time. Okay, so mass divide with time. Multiply with B, multiply with N. Okay. So you can see mass multiply with B. Remember the capital B is equal to uh, B multiply with M. Okay, you can see here. In order to get capital B, uh, small B multiply with M. Okay. So from here we can substitute B capital B over time multiply with N. So B over time is the B dot B dot N. Okay, N is only unit, alright, right? Unit vector which is equal to one. Can you see it is the same thing here? Okay, so far you guys understand. How it works. Everyone, you guys there? Yes, sir. Yes, doctor. Yes. Sir. Okay, so far, do you have any question pertaining to the flurry of property B through DA? Okay, if you have uh, any question, feel 
feel free to let me know yeah so from this uh, relationship okay we can form the complete equation db of the system remember that this is the Renault transport theorem all right d over dt integral this is control volume yeah rho b dv plus control surface all right now this is the final form of Renault transport theorem that involve of control volume plus control surface okay this is very important okay you look at here can you see it is the same thing the Renault transport theorem all right b system over dt this is b system over dt this is d over dt all right this is in terms of volume so definitely it is control volume so from here you can see this is va this is area this is surface so definitely we can combine into control surface okay all right so this is basically the Renault transport theorem okay can you remember this uh, equation because this is very important all right this is the final form the whole this thing that you learn basically come into this equation all right this is the whole system over t all right this is control volume remember that this the first term refer to the control the change of control volume the second term refer to the change of all right control surface this is the integral of control surface so now let's apply to the conservation of mass remember that b can be a, can be any kinds of property like volume like mass like velocity any kinds so why don't we apply the mass as the b okay so recall back the conservations of uh Renault transport theorem all right so based on the Renault transport theorem okay the change of this total system over dt okay equal to the change of b control volume over dt minus hmm, all right let me put this way yes okay Okay, just uh, rewrite this equation. Integral rho b dv plus integral control surface. This is control volume. Rho b v dot n product unit vector dA. Okay. So, we know that B basically is a capital B uh, divided with mass. Alright. We know that the, the small b is a capital B divided with mass. So, let here, let consider B here as, as the mass. So, from here, the capital B is equal to mass divided with this is mass. So mass divided with mass equal to <laughs> equal to what everyone? So what's the value of B? 
it's equal to 1. Yeah. Yes, equal to 1. Okay. So can we replace the B with 1? Yes, definitely we can replace B, the small B with 1 and the B system with the mass. So replace here. Okay. So we can replace a D uh, mass of the system over DT equal to okay if this is one okay okay equal to d over dt integral rho this is b equal to one d v okay and then uh plus Control surface, this is B equal to 1. So, rho V dot N DA. Okay. So, from here, okay, for conservations of mass, conservations, what the conservations of mass said? What is the conservation of mass? Okay, it is simply the mass is conserved. Okay, the mass, the change of mass doesn't happen. Conserved. Okay, so the M here, okay, the mass of the system of uh, dt is totally equal to zero all right so this term we can cancel out equal to zero okay so what we have now is zero equal to okay equal to d over dt okay D over dt uh, integral of rho dv. Okay, so let's say for this point, okay, we have one inlet and one outlet. Okay, this is inlet, this is outlet. Okay. This is inlet, for example, like this. Okay, this is point one. This is point two. Okay, yeah? you can see this is perpendicular. So from here, okay, you can see this is control surface. Okay, control surface from Point one to point two. Okay, one two. So this is uh, control surface. Okay, let's say this is this is one and this is two. Okay, or you can put this is one also can be. This is one and this is two. Row V. And DA. Okay. So from here, okay, rearrange. You try to solve this one. Differentiations. Okay, this is integral integral of dv. Yeah. This is the integral of dv. Okay, you will have like this. Okay. Wait, yeah. Okay. So you will have uh, this one equal to d over dt integral rho 
dv plus this one. You do the integration 2 first. You will end up rho uh, v dot n area. This is area 2. Okay, minus rho v. This is definitely 2. This is refer to 2. Okay, this is refer to 2. This is refer to 1. 1 dot n area 1. Okay, basically this, the whole this thing is the continuity equation. Okay, so this is the continuity equation. Alright, in terms of the integral form. Okay, this is the change of control volume. Okay. Alright. So a fit here. Okay. The above equation is for one dimensional. Alright. Let's say this is one inlet and one outlet. If uh, not one dimensional, this is M. Basically, this is M. Okay, m dot found by taking the integral. Okay, this is basically m control surface is equal to integral of control surface rho v dot n. Yeah, it is basically the same, the same thing here. You can see this one. Okay, rho v. Rho V dot N D A. Okay, this is for control uh, surface. Okay. Control surface. Okay. Next, if uh, the change of uh, density over time is small, okay, that means the change of density is very small, we consider it is nearly incompressible. Alright. So we can neglect. We can neglect the integral of control volume with respect to dp over dt dv terms. Okay, where's this term coming from? Basically, this term coming from the control volume. Okay, where's the control volume? You see, control volume. All right, rho. You can see this one combined integral outside control volume rho dt. Okay, with the dv here. So, since this one is very, very small, okay, we consider this term, okay, this term, the change of density over time is very, very small. It is nearly incompressible. So, once it is nearly incompressible, we can neglect this term. We can cancel out equal to zero. Remember, this control volume is only for incompressible when we cancel out okay so we can get and get the integral of rho v dot n da equal to okay this is for control surface equal to zero so we only have this term only. Remember, from the whole of this term, we consider that the, the change of density over time is very small. It is incompressible. So this term equal to zero, we only have this term. Okay. So for this term, okay, let's write it down. We will have Rho V, 
okay and dot n d a sorry this is we try to expand this is pro, from point one to two okay this is two this is two this is area two minus row one v one dot n area two equal to zero Okay, since uh, the density is constant, you can see it is not changed. The density 1 equal to density 2. So we can cancel out density with density. Okay, because it is the same. So what we have here basically, the V2, okay, and A2 equal to V1 and A1. Okay. So this is applied for incompressible. Incompressible fit. Where the change of the density, the rate change of density is very, very, very small. Okay. Okay, so you notice that this is velocity multiplied with cross-sectional area. So, in other words, this term, we can replace with the flow rate in terms of Q. So, this is Q out. Remember, point number 2 is out. You can see here, point number 2 is out, point number 1 is in. So, Q equal to Q out. Q in. Okay, so basically Q is actually where A multiply with velocity. This is a volume flow rate. Okay, so normally the unit is meter cubic per second. Okay, do you have any questions so far? pertaining to the conservation of mass and finally we come into the incompressible fluid. Okay, guys, are you there? Okay, do you have any yes, question? Sir. No question. Thank you. Okay. Okay, in order to strengthen your understanding, let's try one example. Okay, so this is very important. The inlet section of the vacuum cleaner is rectangle. Okay, 1 by 5 inch. Okay, this is inch, yeah, symbol inch, double inch. The blower can provide suction at 25 cubic feet per minute. So the question asks, what is the average velocity at the inlet? Okay, so let's say we try to draw, okay, okay, so it is given that this is what, anyone, this represent what term, velocity, what this term represent, is it represent power, volume, flow rate, Yes, perfect. It is represent volume flow rate. The symbol is Q. So it is 25 feet cube per minutes. All right. Normally, we need to convert this into second. Okay, because why? Because you look at here, it is request in terms of second as well in terms of meter. Right, first convert into the second. So two five feet cube per minute multiply with one minute over sixty second. We will have zero point four one seven feet cube per second. Okay. So remember that. We know already Q, okay, this is suction inlet. Okay, 
K is 1 by 5. The blower can provide suction. Okay, this is suction at 25. So let's say this is suction inlet. Remember that Q in always say with Q out. Okay. So this case Q in is equal to V in multiply with area in. Okay, remember here Q equal to V A or Q equal to A V. Okay. So from here we know that area. How to get the area? Area in area inlet. It is given by okay, it is given by once one inch by okay, one inch by by five. So it is five inch square. Okay, so this inch we need to convert into feet. Because this is unit of feet. So you need to multiply by conversion feet cube. Sorry, feet squared. Okay. Over width 12 inch squared. Because this is the power of 2. Once you do the power of 2, you need to do the bracket. Okay, end up you will have the value here 0 0.0347 feet square. All right, now we have the same consistent unit. We use the feet, make sure feet. We use the second, make sure second. So V in is equal to Q in over A area in. So the value of Q here is this value 0 0.417 feet cube per second over with area inch in inch all right 0.0347 feet square so you can sell feet square with feet cube and up you will have feet over second so you will have 12.01 okay feet per second so the question asks meter per second. So you just need to convert from the feet into meter. So how to convert? You know already one feet equal to 0 0.3048 meter. Okay. So finally your answer is 3.66 meter per second. Okay, so far you have any question pretending to get the velocity, everyone? Ah. You guys? So far, okay? Yes, sir. No question. Yes, sir. Okay, the question next. If the condition at sea level standard, what is the mass flow of air? So the question asks to find the kilogram per second. This is mass flow, mass flow rate. Okay, where is our mass flow rate? Can you see this one? Mass M dot is a mass flow rate. Okay, it is equal to rho V A. Okay. So the next question B here. This is A. Yeah. The next question asks the mass flow rate. Okay. So it is given that the mass flow rate equal to rho A. Okay, rho V A. Yeah. Okay. Rho V A. Okay, this is based on the derivation, yeah? This one. Rho V A. The N we don't consider because it is unit vector. The value is 1. But the most important, the direction. Okay. We notice that V A represent this one, right? So can we substitute here? V A equal to Q. 
Okay, yes. Okay, we can have the row multiply with the Q. It is the same thing here. Okay. So look at here. The Q, what you call here, 25. Okay, so now you need to find this is for air. So definitely this is the density of air. So how to get the density of air? Okay, basically the density of air, you can refer to the table, appendix table. Okay, here I give to you. Okay, it is at the sea level, yeah? That means the density of air at the sea level is equal to height equal to zero. Okay, when you refer to the table, you will have 1.225 five kilogram per meter cubic. And this is the SI unit. And the Q given here is not SI unit. It is, it is feet cube per minute. So what you need to do? You need to convert. So mass flow rate equal to 1.2255. Okay, this is kilogram per meter cubic. This is stand for density. Multiply with the Q. The Q here stand for 25 feet cube per minute. It is given in the question. So you need to convert first. Okay, first I need to convert feet. Okay, you know that one feet equal to 0 0.3048 meter. Okay, this is cubic. You put cubic here, you put bracket here. Cubic. And then this is minute, one minute over 60 second. Okay. So, once you try to solve this one, when you do this uh, conversion, you do calculate, calculation here, you will find out that this is 0 0.0118 meter cubic per second. Multiply with this value. You will get, this is, you can see meter cubic, meter cubic, only kilogram per second. So, the final answer to be 0 0.014 5 kilogram per second. That is the final answer. Okay, so far you guys have any question pertaining to get the mass flow rate of air? Okay. So this is example 1. Okay, let's uh, do the last example. Example number 2. Okay. So the, try to read first. The pipe flow, okay, the pipe flow fill the cylinder tank. You can see this is inlet one and this is outlet two. And while flowing, the water going up and fill up this empty space here. Initially, it is at H. All right, once you want to fill up, it is at one meter. Okay, it is given that the water depth in the tank is 30 centimeter. So it is initially at H equal to 30 centimeter. So what we need to do here? How to solve this one? Of course, we need to apply the conservations of mass because this involves the mass of water. All right, definitely we use the, the Renault transport theorem. Okay. This is the conservation of mass. Control volume and close the tank. So this is our control volume. Okay, first we need to draw the control volume. Okay, this is our control volume. Okay, please make sure it is a dot, yeah? Dotted line. All right. So let's apply the conservations of mass by using the Renault transport theorem. Okay, RTT 
for the conservation of mesh, which is okay, D over DT control volume. Okay, remember that previously we have this kind of term. Okay, remember D capital M system over DT. Since this is conservation of mass, okay, so the mass is conserved, so the total change of uh, mass system equal to zero. Okay. This is, remember, the first term for the control volume. Rho dV. Alright. If you can't remember, here is what we derive. Remember D, D, T, integration, rho, dB. This is for control volume. Okay. And then the second one for control surface. Rho, V, dot, N, D, A. Okay. So from here, you can look at this is totally equal to zero because the mass is conserved, conservation of mass. Okay, dm of the system over dt equal to zero. So from here, we only have the control volume and control surface. What do you think of the control volume will change here? Do you think uh, the, the bottom part will change the shape or the top part will change the shape? Which part will change? Anyone? The top part. Doctor. Yes, the top part because the water fill up this empty tank. tank. Yes, the tank. Okay, so the first part, please ignore this integration first. Okay, this is dt, d over dt. Okay, you can see we do the integration of volume. Okay, the density is constant. Okay, the density is constant. Alright, how to get the volume? Hmm. How to get the volume, everyone? How to get the volume? Volume of this. The cross-sectional area multiply with the height, right? The cross-sectional area. Once you look at from the uh, top, you look at this cross-sectional area. Okay, having the diameter 0 0.75 meter. Okay, you can see here. Right. So, just replace the volume in terms of height, which is rho A H. Because the H is changing, rather than you put the volume, it's difficult to, the, to look at the change in, uh, in the volume. So it is better to look at the change in height. The H is uh, changing with time. Okay, plus, okay, you look at here, we have the control surface. Okay, so control surface, you focus at the bottom side. Because the flow crossing the surface. Do you think the flow crossing the top? No. It won't. Uh, there is no flow at the top. Only at the bottom. So we have the point 0.1 and point 0.2. Okay. Alright. So my tip and advice for you. Alright. For better. For the better remember. For the tips here. Okay, sometimes you confuse with the sign. Remember that the positive for the outlet. Okay, and the negative for inlet. Very simple. Yes, I hope you remember, yeah, positive. You can see here. Okay, can you see? Row 2 is Point number two is outlet, it is positive. Row one is inlet negative. Okay. So, first, 
it is outlet. Where is the outlet? At point number 2. Outlet, right? So, we replace here with the outlet. Okay. So, integrations of control. Sorry. Okay. Integration of control. Sorry, I'm ready. Okay. So, from oh, yeah. here. So once uh, you try to solve this integration with the area dA and then you will get A. Alright, integration of dA will have the A. Okay, so rho V, this is the dot product, yeah. Multiply with the area. This area to velocity to. Okay, the density is the same. Okay, if you put density to also the same. And then minus rho v1 area 1. Okay, because area 1 is the inlet. Can you see? It is inlet minus. Okay. So what we need to do next? Okay. Since the rho and the area, we look at this side. The change of control volume. Do you think the cross-sectional area will change? When you look at from the top view, anyone? The area? No, doctor. The area won't change. The density won't change. The only one change is height. So we replace dH over dt. So rho A, dH over dt. So from here, okay. All right. Plus rho v to a two minus rho v one a one equal to zero. So anyone, what we can do to cancel out? We can cancel out density. We move, we factorize density out, and then we uh, divide with zero. All right. So we will have cancel out of density. So what we have now? We have the Area. What's the area? Area of the bottom or the top one? This one. A represent what? Area of what? Area of top or bottom? Anyone? Top. Uh, area of the top? Yes. Area at the top. Okay. So what's the area at the top? What's the shape? It is circular shape so area for the circle is pi r squared or pi d squared over 4 okay so this is since it is given diameter we can use this one okay so area here is pi okay diameter is 0.75 over 2 squared dh over dt plus velocity at point 2. It is given already. It is 1.9. Right? 1.9. Okay. 1.9 meter per second. Multiply with the area. What's the area here? Area of this cross-sectional area. So how to get the area? Pi. Multiply with. It is given diameter. So 12. 0 0.12. Because this is centimeter. We convert into meter. We will have 0 0.12 meter. Okay. So this is squared over 4. This is the area. Okay. And minus velocity at point 1. So this one 2.5. The same thing. Just copy. The area is the same, right? So pi multiply with 0 0.12 squared over 4. Okay. So end up. 
equal to must be equal ya otherwise you cannot solve this equation because you cannot equal equal to zero okay so next after you solve using your calculator you will have this this term only so dh over dp equal to okay you will have 0 0.0153 meter per second you can see meter represent h second represent time so the question asks estimate the time it is not estimate the 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 rate the rate change of height the question asks estimate the time so we need to estimate the time required to fill the rest of the tank so what is the value of H for the rest of the tank? Anyone? This is the rest. This is the rest of the tank. What is this value? 0 0.7. Yes, perfect. So, H rest is 1. Sorry, it is given by 1 meter, right? Minus 30 centimeter. It is 0 0.7 meter. So, can you substitute here 0 0.7 meter and finally you will get here? Definitely have. You can. So, the change of time or estimate the time that you will get is basically 0 0.7 meter over this one change position 0 0.0153 meter per second. Meter, meter cancel, second move upward then you will have the value equal to 45.57 second yes that is the final answer okay so far do you have any question how do we get the time taken for the rest of the water to fill up the empty tank, not the empty, the half empty tank. Okay, do you have any questions so far, guys? We know the okay, uh, my advice, please remember this, the Renault Transport Forum. Okay, basically it is the basic of our fundamental okay remember this is our Renault transport theorem db of the system over dp equal to d over dt this is control volume so this is rho okay we have the b here uh, right Okay, plus control surface. It has rho b v dot n d a. This is the Renault transport theorem. But this one is the combination of Renault transport theorem with the conservation of mass. When you apply the conservation of mass, where now b become mass. When you apply the conservations, uh, maybe uh, you want to have the change of volume flow rate. You can put B equal to volume. That's it. So since this is conservation of mass, if we replace B with mass. Okay. Um, sir? Yes? Uh, how did you get 0 0.7 meter? Which one? Uh, the last one, DH equal to 0 0.7. Okay, DH 0 0.7 here. Okay, yes. DH represent the uh, estimate the time required to fill the rest of the tank. So the rest of the tank is H. Okay, we know already the height of the tank is H. So the water start from where? The water need to fill up from where? From this value. From this point up until this point, right? So we need to know the time taken from this time up until this time. 
Okay. So now we consider this as the H. DH. Do you, do you understand now? Uh, yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, basically, that is a good question. Okay. It is not H here equal to uh, 0 0.3. Yeah? It is the starting point where we need to fill up the tank. All right. It is the space here. The, the empty space for the H is 0 0.7. Okay. Uh, I think uh, that's all for today's session. Thank you very much for your time and uh, commitment. I hope that uh, today's lecture will be the valuable information for you to improve your understanding in order to score test one, two, and final exam, right? So the final exam, uh, we only have one week and I plan to have the extra class for revision for the final, all right? So the date and the time, I will inform to you later on. So that is the optional, all right? If you want to join, please do so because the advantage of you when you join the class you manage to ask the question, all right? If you unable to join, you can look at my recording video. Okay. Excuse me, doctor. Yes. Uh, does week seven include in the test one? And no, only week six. Okay, so this is going to include in test two and the final. <laughs> okay. So. Can you show the stuff? The QR code. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, then everyone, then scanning the attendant. Uh, doctor. Yes. Uh, week one, uh, test one is open for. Uh, close book. Okay, let me remind to you what is mean by closed book. The closed book, just imagine yourself in the exam hall. Alright, I hope uh, you, you remember your experience in the exam hall where you cannot bring anything. You only have to bring your stationery and you need to remember, okay, uh, for the formula. So I hope that you remember the formula. Please be honest. Uh, during the exam because it is conducted online, okay, still online. So, uh, how do we detect whether your answer script is genuine or not? It is based on your solution, okay, because we're going to check one by one of your solution with the internet, okay. So, I, I hope that any issue, the last issue about the checking with the check won't be any uh, repetitions again lah. Okay, uh, I think that's all for today. Uh, I end my session with Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Thank you.